guys, we're live with our first party. Mario party. Good evening. Good evening. I love you, but I don't want you to. Are you sure we're live? Yeah. Did you annou you announced it on Twitter? I am right now. It's, it's all that typing. All that typing it gets in the way. I know. Stephanie oh, interview comes out next week. Sure does. Oh, she didn't hear me. Stephanie might have an interview coming out next week that somebody. <gasps> Next week and here might yep. have been involved with. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Uh, we're gonna tweet this out. Tweet it out. All right. Secrets revealed with exclusive interview. Exclusive. We do the exclusive. the dumb deep Microsoft world premiere. World premiere. <laughs> exclusive. Exclusive. Nice. Boss rush. Exclusive. All yeah, right. I swear those things could make you drunk if you were playing a tricky game. I mean, they could. I mean, never stopped us. But it's fine. It's fine. All right. So, hi, everybody live here. If you're watching. Happy Friday. The one Hello, person everyone. Friday. watching live. Hello. Hey. Welcome to It's Our Party. Ed, I'm disappointed. No Eddie Murphy suit that Celeste and I demanded that you wore. It is hot. Well, the only way we were going to make him wear that suit is if we had done a little play on Eddie Murphy's party all the time with this string name. It is hot. That thing is made out of pleather, and I will be <laughs> shredded to the 90s. <laughs> well, no, thank you. Ed, you know, you got to sacrifice for the content, Ed. You know? You know why can't you dress up as Eddie Murphy? Because because you're Eddie. Because I, I, do you see how pale I am? The about the <laughs> only thing I can do is a really poor imitation of his laugh. Okay. Wow. So. Can you can you do it right now? You want me can to do an Eddie? You want me to do the Eddie Murphy laugh? I want you to do the Eddie Murphy laugh. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? 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 No, it's bad. That was a good one. That was terrible. That was a good one. Thank you yeah. for that. You're welcome. It's, it's, see, so, Ed, I sacrificed for the content. This see, Corey texted me to, earlier, and he was like, we need a name for this series. And I said, well, it's my party, or it's our party or my party, and we can cry if we want to. And he took away the crying part because nobody likes crying. We're not going to cry. I mean, we're... Nobody's we're gonna cry. A few of us are going to cry because we're playing Mario Party Mar on the internet, yeah. so someone's I mean, crying. But... You may get the Nintendo gas from me. <gasps> what? Oh, uh, I thought you said the Nintendo gas. <laughs> oh, no, no. You might get that, too. Have you see, Have you heard what Ed eats? Man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to go on Power Walk again for a little bit. I miss it. No, Celeste, you have to come on episode 250, which is in a few weeks. Even though I haven't been playing anything, we're we're not we're not talking about anything that anybody needs to know anything about. Oh. So we're just gonna hang out oh. and have it, a good time and talk is about it like Seinfeld, the show about nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what all these shows are. Uh, but I kind of so the reason why I kind of want to do this is a Mario Party now has an online mode two and a half years after the game comes out. Uh, Secondly, one of my favorite things to watch when I want something on the background is Giant Bomb's Mario Party Party, where everybody plays Mario Party for three and a half hours and hates their lives. Now, we're not playing for three and a half hours. Okay, we're going to do like a 15 turn thing, but this show will be heavily inspired by that. And uh, next time, maybe we'll do Mario Party, maybe we'll do Mario Golf, maybe we'll do, I don't know. I don't, what other multiplayer Mario games are there that are ridiculous? I was going to say, will there be hurt feelings if we do a Mario Kart? No. Just... No. no. We can do Ruthless. Mario Kart. 
We can do Mario Kart. I'm all for Mario Kart. Clubhouse games. I'm going to own Ooh. all of you at fishing. Yes. I mean, you might <laughs> you might own us in that uh, obscure Russian stacking dolls game. Is that a thing? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't think that's on there unless you have a special version of that game that I've never played. Mm. Uh, so we're all in here. We made sure everything was set up before because, you know, sometimes people get on to jump on and they're ready to go. Everything falls apart and you're waiting 40 minutes. Nope. We're ready to go now. So everybody got their joy cons. Everybody put your wrist straps on guys. I don't want you guys breaking your, uh, monitors or TVs or children or. Is it okay if I'm irresponsible tonight? You do whatever you do. You, we won't tell on you. You do you. Just the people that are. Joining. Oh shoot! This is a right-handed game. Ugh. What did everybody eat for dinner? Ooh, I uh, I had uh, firehouse subs. So <gasps> I had the New York um, steamer. Pastrami. Oh, the New yeah. oh, New York I steamer. Love yeah. that one. Uh, yesterday I had the uh, beef and cheddar for firehouse subs. So you had it twice, twice in a row. Yeah. Whoops. Good stuff. Good stuff. Excellent. Uh, what about bread? you? Oh, it's good. It's so um, good. My my son had a uh, a birthday party, like a friend's birthday party. So we had for the adults like filet mignon and like roasted carrots and potatoes, and I snuck uh, in some tater tots. Ooh. So I was well fed today. Yep, and birthday That's cake. Delicious. I love yeah. a good tot. Let me tell mm -hmm. you. Yeah, tots it was are... very delish. Tots are good. I love tots. What I think it was Napoleon Dynamite who put tots on. Uh, the map. The map. <laughs> uh, give me some tots. How about you, Celeste? <laughs> Boiled crawfish. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> yes, my so my my parents. So we're we're vaccinated, and my parents said, "Hey, do you and Timmy want some boiled crawfish? We'll treat you." I mean, okay. <laughs> Where do we want to go? What map here? Mm. Tropical Island looks fun. It's always fun. Yeah. Finger fruit paradise. It does. Let's go on vacation. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And, and it's kind of related to food, too. So. True. There's a pineapple like the and a watermelon. Think, my friend. How many turns? Okay. So what I hear is about 10 turns takes about 45 minutes. And I know some of us have time outs. So do we want to do 10 or 15? Let's go 10 for this debut. You're the worst, Ed. <laughs> Why am I the worst? I don't know, because I said so. Um, oh, Corey. Corey, what did you eat for dinner? Yeah. We had uh, chicken cordon bleu. Oh, my oh gosh. It's one of my favorite dishes. Me. So, okay, bef before we get all that's fancy. No, we went to Aldi and bought the the, the pre-wrapped packed ones that are like 99 cents still, a thing. It still works. Delicious. It does work. It was delicious. I ate three of them and they were amazing. I'm jealous yeah. that you have an Aldi's. Yeah. We got two of them. Uh, no, four of them by me. Gosh, just rub it in my face. Yeah. <laughs> I All thought right. Aldi's was everywhere. You get to have your crawfish. Oh, oh yummy. It just depends. Where, where I live, there are a lot of like locally owned franchises, so... Yeah. Which is fine. But I did try that new bluebell ice cream flavor. Okay, night. that Ooh. is where I need to try. Yes. I need to go and get chocolate sheet cake. Chocolate oh, sheet cake. Ooh. It so is... that's, when you put that picture up, I love the packaging. That's why I'm just like the packaging. Oh, different. with the little girl and the cow. Yeah. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's um yeah, it's milk chocolate ice cream with chocolate cake pieces, pecans, and Chocolate frosting. Okay, now who says pecans in this chat? Mm, not this pecans. guy. I think I say pecans. Oh no, I I have to not think about it. I just really <laughs> put something up my mouth naturally. Hmm. Guys, is it is this our first time, guys? I don't think. I mean, I think we all get the gist of Mario Party, right? I mean, I've, I've, I've been yeah. around the block with yeah. Mario Party. Yeah. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, did you make this a mature chat? I hope so. I mean, 
This is. Uh, I mean, we're not like sitting here going to promote our OnlyFans pages, but I mean, it doesn't have to be <laughs> uh, like. Oh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> where we sell. Fans Iran's not here, guys. The summer right. is upon us. So. Let's listen to the rules. Ceiling fans, desk fans. There is an OnlyFans subreddit, and it is literally fans. Oh, F. Ooh, I got a four. Ooh, Ooh Celeste is going first. All right. So that's dry bones. Like I'm dry oh, bones. Oh. Well, you don't like dry bones, Celeste. What do you got I against like... dry? What do you got? Against I didn't say I had bones? anything against dry bones. It's just he keeps resurrecting, and it bothers me. It impedes my progress whenever I'm <laughs> trying to go through. <gasps> Are you Monty Mole? That's what I do every time I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love Koopa Troopa. Every time I play Mario Kart, he is my guy. I love Koopa Troopa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Ghost Plane, I I'm, I I'm gonna respond to you through chat. Thank you for joining us this evening. My favorite Mario Party is Mario Party 2 because they dressed to the theme of the worlds. It's true, they did. Mm. I think mine is uh, Mario Kart no, Mario Party 4 on GameCube because it had the basketball ones. Um, Ooh. That one was really, really good. I think that was the last one Hudson did. Hudson Soft did for Nintendo. Yeah. Is that is that is Hudson not around anymore? Uh, they're owned by they're... Konami now. Yeah. They made the uh. the Bomberman game that's on Switch. Um, so they're big time. How is that Bomberman game? Is it worth to buy? Um, it's not worth the fifty dollars that it costs, but it's, <laughs> it's fun. It's like twenty. It's like twenty dollars at Best Buy now. Also, if you have games with gold, it was free at one point on Xbox. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, what do I? Ooh, dry bones. Your your special dice sucks. All right, we're gonna go with this normal one. Uh, hey, thank uh, you, D twenty Sapphire, for popping in. Yeah, we appreciate it. Well, I got a one, guys. Welcome, welcome. 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 Sapphire's my Monty. friend. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I love the little takeout box. I know. Again, makes me uh think of food. I know. Well, you are a girl after my own heart. <laughs> mm. We're all friends here. Food is the great equalizer. Let's be that's honest. Yes. That's okay. We oh, thank you, D20 Sapphire. We understand, little buddies. Got to get some rest. Thank you for hopping in. Yes, thank you. <gasps> oh, I was about to oh. say, are Stephanie and I going to team up? All right. Social media has posted. So everyone. Do you see my in. cat, guys? Look. Ooh, there's a cat. Sorry, that's Paxel. She's my buddy. Oh, pancake. I love Paxel. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> so, wait, what you is this? You can only now? grab a pancake. Well, this is practice. Completely um, uncovered. So, is it like Mahjong? Wait. Get your. Was it that? Get your. What's that? Lego My Ego? Lego My Ego! Oh my goodness, you know what? I've been. <laughs> it's a good thing this is practice because I've been looking at someone else's hand. I'm like, why is it not a <laughs> I know, I've been doing the same thing. Uh, fortunately, our, our little faces aren't. Oh, is this a special pancake? And this whole time I was blaming it on Drift. I'm like, no. All right. Just joke on Drift, the great enemy. Who who thought that that. Who, who designed these things? This is. This is terrible. We need. Right. Well, Stephanie, you we all ready? Practice. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, here we go, guys. I'm very excited. I found a monitor mount at work for free. Also. Oh, that's outstanding. Nice. Yes. Take a win. Yeah. It's, uh, that's awesome. Wins are so hard to come by these days. 
feels like. So did you, you brought, you, you, you're using it right now? Uh, no, it's sitting on my floor. I've kicked it about 65 times since I brought it home. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, you know, I want to, I'll get to it at some point. Oh no, yeah, I got started. Oh, you're, you're a jerk. <laughs> oh, Stephanie! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, cake. Stephanie's like... <laughs> She killed it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm a hungry little mole. Oh my gosh! And I was trying to get. The, I'm like mole, and the thing was just stuttering. I'm like, what the heck? Mm. Wow. I'm so, I'm sorry that you guys have to see like the top of my head because I'm looking down. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. Oh, I was like, no. That's why I wear a hat. I don't like it when people see the top of my head because, well, I'm pretty sure out of everyone here, Ed's the only one that's seen me without my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's a look I've seen pictures. Guys. You have. They exist. But I guess it's not, it's not the same as real life. Did you actually get to go to the barbershop today? Well. Oh, no. no. Mm, go down Sketchy Bridge. Oh, Watch out no. for this game. They called it the Sketchy Bridge and I still went down. <laughs> wow, I had no idea there was a mega blooper there. Be careful crossing this bridge. Proceed with caution. Oh. Too bad Dan wasn't here so we could narrate Toad. That'd be cool. Does he have a good Toad voice? I can just only imagine if he does. I don't know. I know he loves Toad. Vicious! Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I could not listen to that for. Oh no! Ooh, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> That's pretty good. Mario, we gotta go save for some beat. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Does that hurt your voice? Ed, are you feeling That's okay? Like... Sounds like it hurts. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It kind of sounds like a Gilbert Godfrey voice. Yeah. Yeah, like a like an eight year old trying to imitate Gilbert Gottfried, <laughs> and not very well, but like close know. enough, you know. Do eight year olds today know who Gilbert Gottfried is? I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I doubt it. <laughs> no. Okay, fellow kids, if you've ever watched Aladdin, the animated movie, and you remember mm. Iago, little yes. parrot, that's Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, mm. except we got another one. <laughs> I know. Gosh, get out of here. Fortune favors the bold. Mm. Ed, I am a little angry that you took Koopa Troopa because I love Koopa Troopas. He's, he's my guy. That's well, that's okay. Next time we'll, I'll fight you for it. Mm. Dry Bones is... Dry Bones forever. I like noises that Koopa Troopas make. Wong wong. Yeah. Slapperazzi. Yeah, what is that? Do I have to, don't, I have don't wake the wiggler. Oh, okay. Hold okay. vertically, it says. Oh no. This, oh, this... I, say, I wish I had that job that you could name the mini games. Oh. Pet Wiggler without waking it. Petting Wiggler earns you points, but you'll lose it all if you wake it up. Ooh, you remember that game Don't Wake Daddy from the 90s? That sounds familiar. I remember the commercials. Like, you had to, you were trying to sneak into the kitchen for a midnight snack. I never had it. Yes. But you couldn't wake up the dad. Okay, I'm petting him. I don't, I, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, this is. Why would we risk our lives? trying to pet this thing. Do, do you know what happens when a wiggler gets angry? Why would yes, you touch I one? Yes, I know what happens. Does Galutrad come... Hey, Ghost Plane. Um, uh, Galutrad is sometimes on Nintendo Power Block. This was kind of an impromptu game night. Yeah. Yes. Oh, dude, he's getting mad. Oh, no. Sorry, D uh, Sapphire, for the Don't Wake Daddy theme song. Don't wake daddy. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I remember that game. I remember the theme yeah. song. I don't know what the game is, but I remember like, the theme song. He was in, wasn't he like in the bed? And you had yes, to, like, he has the fight. hat. Like, do people sleep with those hats? For real? Like, are they they used to, but not now. The, like the stocking cat things? Uh -huh. I don't think so. 
Yeah, and like you had to be careful where you landed because then the little oh, I woke him up. Oh no, that's what happens <laughs> when it gets angry. Job drive oh, no. Are we ready? I'm ready. Sorry, uh, we're the only one who's not. I see that yeah. now that I asked that question. Thanks for making me look like an idiot. <laughs> Appreciate all of you so much. Well, with the Dracon Drift, uh, Ghost Play, it's happened to uh, PlayStation 5. Um, and some people reported an Xbox uh, Series X mm. for some of their controllers. So there is a story out about it, um, about Joy-Con Drift. I mean, not Joy-Con Drift, but drifting in controllers of why it's happening. Interesting. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get him. Wake him up. Gosh, this is this cool. like hot potato. This is like hot potato. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh no. His eyes opened. <laughs> oh no. Why are we hanging out in these scary woods? I don't know. Who decided who decided to pet the wiggler? This is terrifying. Whose <gasps> idea was this? <gasps> oh, his eyes open. Oh no. I don't like this. I just want to take my nap. Yeah. Why are these people talking? Oh no. <laughs> That's terrifying. That that Yeah. That's scary. Oh, it's I'm, not stop. I'm dead or whatever. Yes. Yeah, Koopa Troopa. Oh well, surprise that wins. Why is it terrifying? Did you see his face? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, it's funny that there are some games that are really kid friendly that have terrifying moments in it for adults. Yeah, like this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it terrifying or is it nerve wracking? Because that's two different things. Mm. Both. A little bit of both because I was scared I was going to wake him up and lose my point. It's scarier than the nine foot vampire in Resident Evil. I need, I need to play it, but I'm a weenie. What, Resident Evil? I love I love Resident Evil. I love the lore, but I'm a big I, weenie. I know I love the lore too, but it's scary. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I told Jesse that. I, 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 oh, go ahead, Stephanie. No, no. I was, all I was gonna say is, um, I really want to get into lore too, but I don't have the guts to play it. So I've actually been watching a let's play on the Resident Resident Evil Two remake. I can oh, do that. Are you watching Claire and Leon? Or yeah. So the, they did Leon's campaign first. And then they're doing the second campaign with just Claire. I'm starting uh, Resident Evil 6 on Xbox. Uh, and is I it... actually... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to know, is that, that's the one that people don't like, so do you like it? Um, Once I start playing more of it, I probably will like it. I kind of like the flow of it. It feels it feels nice, so I just got to play a little bit more of it. Um, I actually remember that I was 17 working at... Uh, Six Flags Great America owning my own money and that was my first M-rated game that I bought from Montgomery Ward was Resident Evil that's uh, such a sweet memory yeah it mm -hmm. had the big cardboard box in it mm -hmm. okay Ghost Plane uh, what are your favorite Mario Party mini games uh, the one where you run on the ball and you try to knock each other off the island. <laughs> no, Whatever that one is. Bumper balls. I like the fun. ones where you try to match the pictures to be identical to them. Yeah, yeah. I, that's my favorite one too. I don't know if it's relevant in the in the current games, but I like the one where you try to clean uh, the chain chomps. Mm, uh -huh, mm. uh -huh, but I think uh -huh. that was the, the version that was in the Wii. I forgot which one was the one. Oh, lucky you! I'm gonna go with the green. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh -huh. that's what you get. Good evening, Auditor415. Who are you people and what are you doing on my screen? Well, you wanted to be here, <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> Hello, Auditor415. You. you have a and red Twitch logo. You sound important. Yes, very important. Yeah. Uh, Sapphire says, terrifying is when you're being chased. Nerve-wracking is trying to avoid the terror slash nerve explanation. Yes, thank you for that. That is true. That is accurate. I... I think I might try to play Resident Evil 2 during Halloween. Nice. Boss, we should do Resident Evil 5. It's just do it all easy. I mean, yeah, I thought about that too. Uh, collect the most coins. Okay, I think we are. Well, we can... I get this. I get was... this. Yeah. 
Was um the Resident Evil Seven the one where it first started going to first person? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Four was over is well, yeah. Four is over the shoulder, but completely first person perspective is seven, and it takes place in Louisiana. Yeah, uh, it's actually is, it's me... actually Celeste's uh, guest house. Yeah, which is what... based off my my life. We was talking on Crossroad uh, last Saturday that. It seems that every three Resident Evil games for the main series, there's been a change in gameplay and perspective. Because one mm-hmm. through three was the uh, tank controls, um, excluding Code Veronica. Uh, four through six was over the shoulder, and now seven and eight is in first person. So nine might be the last first person one, and then they may change the perspective for the next game for ten. Wow. Oh, I'm part of an elitist group known as the EXP cast. <laughs> yes. Auditor sure is. I know who Auditor is. Oh, man. That's funny. They Tyler, got on me. Ghost Plane says Silent Hill is way scarier than Resident Evil. I've heard that. Silent Hill is not that scary, depending on which one you're playing. Silent Hill just have like, terrible puzzles and back yeah, controls. I'm pretty and sure, perfect. like, I'm pretty sure nobody liked to the Silent Hill after two until a PT came out. <laughs> that's like my history. That's like my knowledge of Silent Hill. I don't know anything about Silent Hill though, by the way. So that I could just totally be misreading that. But I always hear like two is the best, three kind of sucks, four is good, and then the rest of them suck until PT. Yeah, I would so, say I should probably Eternal... hit my dice. Oh, I say Eternal Darkness would be a scary game. That would be mm-hmm. the horror one because mm-hmm. of the sanity. And then when the screen pops out saying that the game cube has erased all your saves, it then it goes back to the normal game, uh, and that scared everybody. Like they thought the game, like they thought their memory card was erased for all their data for games and stuff. It's yeah, Eternal Darkness. I love it though. That bathtub scene. Okay, that bathtub Ooh. scene. Oh no. Oh no. Stephanie, have you played Eternal Darkness before? No, I am still very new to trying any sort of horror no. game. If, if you like Lovecraft and Edgar Ah, Lovecraft, that's what you get, boss. Uh huh. It's very much inspired by those authors' works. Okay. Yeah, it had a nice game mechanic, mechanic where. We had these symbols that you could match up to get like magic and health and stuff. Um, I don't want to. Also, you have the the runes. Yeah, it's a lot of melee based attacks that on different body parts, um, and different weapons and stuff. Uh, it was a really good game. It was by uh, Silicon Knights, mm-hmm. um, headed by Dennis Dyack before they did Metal Gear uh, Solid Twin Snakes, which end up changing the whole Metal Gear se- series. Uh, I wouldn't buy that star, Ed. It's bad for you. Stars are bad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need they, that. They should run star. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, Ed's about to be the superstar. Of this, mm. this, uh... No, we can't let Ed win, guys. It's it's time to gang up on Ed now. He's winning. Yep. yep. That's, that's now the... he's got a target on his back. Yep. Auditor says, Silent Hill is amazing. You guys are breaking my heart. Sapphire says, sounds like we have to have to debate about this. Otter, can we at least agree that Dead Space 1 and 2 were great? Ooh, I um, heard Dead Space is great. Yeah, Dead Space is fine. It's good. It's not <laughs> nothing bad. I, I put kind of Dead Space in the category of Bioshock, where a lot of people feel that fear and that horror in that game, and I'm just like, it's an action Monster Hunter game. Not not an actual Monster Hunter from Capcom. But you know, Zomp, but like the Evo and aliens and stuff like that, um, mm-hmm. and stuff. So I'm not like too scared by it. But there are people who are fearful of it. If it's you know? scary, I don't play it. <laughs> I'm a big weenie, but I it's like kind of like when you're dipping your toe in the water, like you you want to get in, but you're mm-hmm. still kind of nervous. And Otter, congratulations on the new place, by the way. If you need furniture, Corey is really good at finding furniture on the side of the road. Because he just I found, found it. Well, here's the thing. Dollhouse. Here's the thing. No, we... So, where we live does, like, a city... Tra- like, if you have anything big, trash, or whatever that you want to throw away, the city comes around and picks up, like, furniture, TVs, chairs, whatever, like, twice a year. And so tomorrow is the day they're picking stuff up. And 
the night before, everybody drives around in their cars and, uh, you know, picks up stuff that they want to have that doesn't want thrown away from somebody else. So this is how we found this stuff. And, uh... I'm picking on you, Corey. I I'm jealous. That's I know, awesome. but there were some really nice, like, tube TVs that I kind of wanted for my Dreamcast and N64. Nice! <laughs> didn't fit in my car. That's fine. You can use a dining room table. Oh. Um, sign up to be a Big Lots Rewards member if you have, it's free, it's, it's not a credit card or anything. If you have a Big Lots near you, they have decent dining room tables, they have decent furniture. I don't, I mean, I don't know what the budget is, but if you don't feel like spending... What is this terrible game? Who decided it? My wrist is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> All, when it started, I, I just saw Stephanie's hands go... I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't move that fast. I used to do that for, what game was it? I, it was, I used to hold the controller right there and put my thumb and like one of my fingers together and then do like this for the big The N64, it's the, it's the... The, um, you have to like... Yeah, and everybody ended up joystick. getting blisters and Nintendo had to send out gloves because it gave everybody <laughs> blisters and nobody thought about it. Like I was like strumming a guitar or something. <laughs> fun this is a delightful yes i haven't i haven't played video games a lot lately um to these people that i'm playing with know but i just finished my six-week creative writing course i was teaching yes local, i was teaching at the local jail and even though it was once a week and i had prepared presentations and everything beforehand i would make adjustments each weekend based on feedback from the class and it's amazing how even just weekly commitments can kind of make you tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a... Uh, yeah. So. It was enjoyable. I wish, I wish Stephanie could come talk to the class about being a novelist. That would be awesome. Yeah, Stephanie, tell us about the book. Yes. Or, yes, or books yeah. in plural. Yes, yeah, Stephanie is an author, a published yeah. and award-winning you know, I'm, um, I have a trilogy out. It's the Aeonians trilogy. I like, you know, Greek and Latin. A lot of my characters and places and titles kind of come from, you know, a derivative of either Latin, Greek, or any other language. And it was heavily inspired by Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It actually was, oh, versus space. It actually was um, fan fiction of what would happen after the events of Ocarina of Time before Twilight Princess came out. So... Is that what Dan posted on Twitter? Is that your book that he's reading? Yeah, yeah. He's like, can I buy your trilogy? I'm like, for real? <laughs> so it's it's pretty cool. Um, well, hopefully, you know, on, I can get some Now I want to read it. It's on Amazon? Yeah, but right now it's like print to order. I have a huge stack at like here in my house because I usually go to events. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, crap. When are we hitting a button? I, I don't know. When you feel a rumble. Oh, I whoops. I don't feel any <laughs> rumble because I haven't turned <laughs> Auditor. <laughs> um, I, I turned oh, my rumble like, off, so I can't feel it. I'd like to know what your book oh. series is called, Stephanie. Oh yeah, the Aeonians, A E O N I A N S. But if anyone is like is genuinely interested in reading it, like I said, I have a ton in my house, and I'll ship it to you for, like, and because it's also super expensive because I'm at with an independent publisher, so all that happy stuff. Um, yeah, I'm happy to ship it to you directly. Ooh, oh, you got an know. ally? Ooh, I got an ally. Auditor, you'll have to um, get with her on Discord, because you I don't think you have Twitter, because we don't interact on Twitter, so I'm assuming you do not have Twitter, unless you're avoiding us on Twitter. <laughs> How many times can I say on Twitter? Hey, oh. it's, who's on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> so I realized that when I say you can find me at I am Corey in HD, like people don't know that there's an E in my name. Uh, so they put C O R Y. Yeah, and then the, like people are like, can't find you. I'm like, oh well, that sucks. Check the show me. notes, I guess. Click the Twitter. Yeah, right. I don't know. Your last name is unique, at least around here. I I've never heard that. Yeah, last. it's uh, it's so my last name is Dierig. Uh, it's spelled D-I-R-R-I-G, but uh, it's French and German. So. Nice. 
Uh, yeah, it's funny. I, I actually, I actually found out a lot about my fam, my family history in the last two years. Uh, my dad's great, great grandfather was like a really, well, I wouldn't say really, but he, he's like a famous French artist. Ooh. And then any, his his family. What? You have pictures of the art? No, I only have a picture of a self portrait. Uh, of himself. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, Dash. Well, yes. Cor Corey's too modest, you guys, but he is an artist himself. Very talented. Oh, artist. okay. That's not true. I'm not good. It's uh, bad. Well, uh, uh, okay, so it's me, Celeste, versus Stephanie and Corey. Corey. Making uh, faces. faces. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> have to like... trading places. I thought we were gonna bring some Eddie Murphy in. Oh no! What is this? What is? Oh, so this? you're oh, up and a... down. I'm left and right. Oh no! This is gonna be bad. Okay, no, we can do this. So it's kind of like um the opposite <laughs> of the claw machine, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is just practice. Okay, Eddie. There we um, go. We're about to make so a beautiful. Like our, our plan is you go. Oh home. yeah! <laughs> Look at that eye placement. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah, I haven't. Oh my god! I haven't drawn anything in a really long time. But what's your what's your medium? Uh, well, I do like uh, pencil drawings and I paint, but it's been a, it's been a long time. Oh, uh, dude, that's cool. All of my art is on my Facebook page. So that so so that's, we we have a flow suit. So we know we know what to do. Um. Yes, we do. We're we're very confident in our skills. Okay. I don't think I need to. Do I need to go up a little bit? Uh, what you think, Ed? Do I need yeah, to... there you go. There you go. All right. uh, no, no, go, that go, looks up, good. go up. Go up. Oh no, uh, that's cool. way too high. <laughs> um. Okay. That's 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 bad. That's okay, really Ed. bad eye placement. No, oh, go, go, no. Left, go left, go left, go Oh, that's better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going down. I'm going down. Okay. Oops. I think it's good right go, there. Go, go, go left. Go okay. left. Okay. I think right. that's good. Right, I think right, that's... right, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a oh, my gosh. That was. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not true. You can't even see one of your oh, eyes. That doesn't make any sense. Bowser's, if he saw them out, he'd probably well, play. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if he'd be as scary. Um, oh, you guys have to do the high five thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we won making terrible art. Yeah. So let's left me. <laughs> I I, I, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> like I did all the work. I am who I am. <laughs> I am queen. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm well, in last um, place. Cora, I think it's cool um, with your artwork. I'll have to check it out because even though you haven't done it, well, I actually started um, drawing before I did my writing. I actually wanted to create my own graphic novel series, but when I was in high school in like early 2000s, that was not cool and the nerdy thing to do. So yeah. I was like, all right, I guess I'll write books instead. I really want to get back to drawing though. Yeah, I actually uh, was going to uh, draw a graphic novel series for someone and then while I was working on it my I don't know do I want an ally sure why not I'm that in last place this little cell phone can I buy one phone a friend oh I got Mario cool Mario um but I was I was going to actually draw for this guy uh, but then my apartment burned down and I lost everything and then oh. he ended up losing the deal anyway so uh, but it was fun like it was really it was an it was a neat experience uh, but I also realized that I had no idea what I was doing um, which was fine oh no I lost three coins again Jeez. I'm the worst I'm the worst Mario Party player ever I've only played Super Mario Party about five times, and I've come in last place every time, just so everybody knows. Uh, one time, well, don't feel bad. One time I was um, playing with a friend of mine, so it was two, so the other two were computer, and I didn't expect the computer, to, the AI to be that um, much of a pushover, but the AI kicked our ass. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Yeah, they're... Uh... It, it, 
preposterously good. Yeah. Sapphire says, fellow early 2000s high school nerd right here was vice president of the Sci Fi Fantasy Club for a year. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh. I uh, graduated in 2005, so I feel everybody there. Uh, then Ghost Plane. from college or high school? High school, Ed. Ghost Plane is asking really? whether there's anything we would like to see at E3. Hmm. Um, I actually would love Square Enix because uh, I know a lot of uh, title games are coming um, and everything, and I, but I can't wait. But I would love for some more title uh, arcade collections to come to Switch, and I want I want still Square Enix to bring me that uh, Tomb Raider trilogy to uh, Switch. I will pay uh, I will pay sixty dollars for a cloud version if need so be. Like I want that. I graduated from high school in 2007. Mm. Uh, I graduated in 1999. 06. Oh, I'm so old. You are. It's fine. So you're young at heart. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I mean, my, what I'm what I would like to see is really just no surprise and probably cliche, but. I don't know if Nintendo will do a direct beforehand, but I, uh, I don't know. Some sort of big announcement from them. It's got to be one, right? If not, if not Breath of the Wild two, it's well, Metroid probably not. I think that's the least. Well, right now viable. there's there's a rumor that the Mario Odyssey team is making the next Donkey Kong game. Oh, oh, I think I saw that. Uh, that was cool. Uh huh. Oh, Corey, watch your back. Oh no. <laughs> you know, I feel like yes. Team Nip. I feel like Team Ninja got something in store outside of the Dynasty Warrior game. Um, I feel like they got just something coming to Switch. Mm. Man, that'd be really awesome if I can, you know. What's everybody's favorite Donkey Kong game? Because I gotta tell you, D Donkey Kong 64, as much as I tried to replay it again now, and the found that the controls are horrible, but back in the day, I loved the heck out of that game. Uh, For me, it's Tropical Freeze. Yeah, the new ones are pretty are really good. I, I believe it or not, I haven't played Tropical Freeze, so that means I'm looking forward to that. I think Donkey Kong Country two and three, it's a tight race with those two, but I like three a little bit more than two. I actually think uh ukulele is the best Donkey Kong game. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment zone. Is that a good game? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. The, uh, the, okay, so the first one is just fine. The second game is amazing. If you like Donkey Kong Country at all, it's, uh, it's amazing. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> this this oh. is so hard. Uh. I need to play a Metroid game. I've actually never played a Metroid game. I'm not I am the only one. Yeah, I'm playing through the uh, original one, the NES one, because I've never beaten it. So it's my first is that, time. Is that the one where it's revealed that Thomas is uh, female? The very original, the very first one. Yeah, yeah. And everybody finds out. Yeah. <sighs> Was it? Did I hear or read something that um, the trilogy will will likely not be ported to the Switch? Um, yeah, they're saying it's hard to do. I, I mean, they yeah. said that about Skyward Sword, and guess what? We're getting it in July, so... <laughs> yeah, it was a former employee of, of Retro, so... Um, I mean, the the rumor for a long time was that it's done and ready to go. They're just waiting for a good time to release it. That's been the rumor forever, so... Yeah, you, and your point with, you know, Skyward Sword, and just Nintendo in general, they really want to keep... You know things under wraps, so I'm not going to discount it for sure. And it's it's oh. it's not like I feel like moving the motion controls because that game was heavy like heavy heavily motion controlled, right? Moving mm -hmm. that motion control to a right stick in terms of like a first person shooter gameplay mechanic would not be that difficult. I'm sorry, it's not it. It's not. I mean, I'm not a programmer, but it's mm -hmm. not file save as control stick instead of motion. You know what I mean? That's how, that's, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Nintendo's literally giving us a game where they teach you how to make games, so 
I'm going to learn how to do it, and then I'll do it for you guys. How about that? <laughs> I, I was kind of having a question, I think, with LeBron about this. Was that, why is Nintendo remakes or remasters or classics, you know, whether they're criticized or not, why do people get so excited about them? And, like, they sell so much. But if it's, like, a remaster on Xbox or a PlayStation, it, that same hype and feeling is not there. Like, like I think it's because box. I think it's because oh, that like Xbox, Xbox especially, but even PlayStation, like those games are available in a lot of those games are available in HD form or you know some sort of modern form, whereas a lot of Nintendo games are stuck on older platforms. You know, uh, I mean, look, everybody Felt wants everybody wants. I know, right? I finally got out of last. I don't know. I'm still in last place. It doesn't even matter. I'm still in last place. Um, uh, I agree with what Auditor said. Nostalgia. People our age grew up with those Nintendo games. I, I mean, they're good games. Nintendo puts out solid titles, but the nostalgia lenses are mm -hmm. pretty thick. And I think you're starting to see that a lot with PlayStation now, too. Where, you know, PlayStation's old enough to where it has that group of kids who grew up in the late 90s and early 2000s with PlayStation and PlayStation 2 and you're seeing people really rally around Ratchet and Clank they want another Jack and Daxter game you know look how well the Crash trilogy sold right I mean mm -hmm. uh, and Xbox is about ready to celebrate their 20th anniversary this year uh, and a lot of people are really nostalgic for Halo right and I think that's why uh, on the Xbox side of things people are have a lot of high expectations for Halo Infinite uh, because the last couple Halo games even though I didn't think they were bad a lot of people don't like what 343's done with Halo and uh, they're really hoping that Halo Infinite's going to take it back to the first game um, right. but yeah I mean to go back to the what Ed was talking about in Celeste like nostalgia has a huge huge uh influence on what we like and what we do like look at the mass effect trilogy right that game is 15 years old just came out uh t today actually and people are going nuts over it and it's like well th those are great games and that you know so also i think it has a lot to do with preservation also and we want to see the best versions of the games we love mm -hmm. um, which you know nintendo doesn't usually have to do a lot of work for that uh we saw that with the Mario 3D All-Star Collection. Not a lot of work at all, Nintendo. Mr. Nintendo, I'm looking at you. Could have could have added uh, right stick controls to that Mario 64. Uh, <laughs> Let's get these people to come vacuum our houses. That's a sweet vacuum. This It reminds me of that vacuum. I, Everybody the rainbow loves, vacuum? No, everybody loves Raymond where <laughs> the salesperson comes to the house with one of these and their house becomes super clean. And then the mom is like uses it and there's no dirt in their house. So Is it the mom like the mom that he's married to or his mom, like Raymond? His mom. It's, it's the Doris or something? Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's I love that show. It's like one of the shows that I will watch when I fall asleep every night. Oh, it's been a long time since I saw the show, but I remember watching it with my parents all the time. I thought it was like the funniest oh my gosh, show it's so ever. Funny. And it holds up too. A lot of the jokes and stuff still hold up. If you guys yep. like that humor, um, the creator of Everybody Loves Raymond, who actually based it off his life, Phil Rosenthal, has a show on Netflix called Somebody Feed Phil, where he travels to different cities. Mm hmm. It kind of like Anthony Bourdain, but much more wholesome and kid friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, I think I've seen that. And I've always wondered if that was any good. It's very, it's very good. It's very sweet. And uh, Sapphire it, uh, says it's nostalgia. is kind of like in video games. It's kind of like music. If you play a game through some formative years of your life, it's almost part of your identity. Mystic and I love Dragon Age and Mass Effect because they were what we played since we were together. Oh, for sure, for sure. And mm -hmm. I want, but I wonder if, with new modern players um, who go back and play all the stuff that we played before, um, 
they it looks like they get excited about it too because like when when we're getting hd got announced for wii u a lot of parents um who have kids was getting their kids to play zelda for the first time i'm i feel really bad for wind waker though that it's stuck on the two consoles that nobody bought mm. that game deserves to be played by more people it's so good I love but that. it's it's kind of one of the most historic Cell shaded game mm-hmm. al- along mm-hmm. with Jet Set Radio. Like, well, everybody hated it when it was was shown off, right? Like, everybody made fun mm-hmm. of it because everybody wanted the look from Space World, right? Which was basically amazing looking Ocarina of Time. And uh, I mean, obviously, we got that later with Twilight Princess, but uh, just, which I, which I, w- I was in that camp too. I was like, man, I wanted that awesome trailer but then when you play it and you realize oh this is a great zelda game and look how amazing everything looks and it aged really well compared to a lot of other games that came out at the time Uh, i think go ahead oh i was about to say i think the legend of zelda is the only series that has won in my opinion probably the most game of the year awards (laughs) you know Link Between Worlds, a 3DS game, breed out some of the biggest console games. Wind yeah. Waker, Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time. Uh, uh, what happened? A communication <laughs> error occurred. Oh no, what happened? I don't like this. No, we're not oh, final. It, it kicked me out the game. Oh no. It's because I was winning too hard. No, that's not what I want. No, this is not acceptable. This is not okay. I was winning. You were winning. (laughs) Uh, Well, that's sad. It's very sad. No, that's not what I want. I actually joined you, Corey. uh, Because your thing was still in the invite. Uh... No friends found in the online lobby. No. That's not great. Oh, thank you, Sapphire. It is a conspiracy because I was about to sweep away all the (laughs) stars. And Auditor, thank you. We're all winners. Yes, we all get a participation trophy. Well, that's not nice. No. Boo. Wait, where'd Stephanie go? I'm trying to hop back in. Oh. Um, just a quick thing, like, about, you know, Ed mentioning Legend of Zelda series. Um, I think that if Wind Waker came to Switch, it would also do very well with mm. new gamers. Okay, so it says no friends found in the online lobby. He just invited us back. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are. Um, but my question is, do you think... The new players would be willing, or and w- would want to play like the even older games that we're used to, like even the original, like original Legend of Zelda, Zelda Two, or um, Link to the Past. Because I almost feel like if people's first games are Breath of the Wild, they might have a hard time going back to the really old ones. I think if you are a parent that's willing to guide somebody uh, for kid wise, yes. I think as gamers. Um, I, th- I think it's got to be something probably in the form of a book club, you know, that, you know, if you play this game, I'm on, I won't play it along with you so we can discuss and everything. And if you need help, talk to me so I can help you out. You know, I, I think people could go back and play those old games. Like I, I, I told David, I told Celeste that I will play Majora's Mask if it drops on Switch. Mm-hmm. Um, and I probably would ask some questions and everything and have a discussion with them on why they okay, so that she could take it. No, I'll be uh, boo. Oh, we're picking new people now, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Ghost Plane says, I remember when people would call the Wind Waker the legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, I I think it works I think those graphics work very well. I remember a friend and I at the time we're talking about the game and he told me do we want to use the same course or do we want to try a different uh, one let's, let's go to that mansion mm-hmm. or the hotel or whatever it is this and one? he told me that the creators I think yeah, tower 
you told me that the creators wanted the game to feel as though you were playing it and experiencing it from the eyes of a child. Man, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. it feels very childlike. Yeah, because I, I don't think you could actually start a game a young person off with playing a Microsoft or a PlayStation game. And I know that sounds going to be tearing up a whole bunch of people's uh, brains right now. But, like, how can you really start a kid off by playing, like, The Last of Us or God of War? Mm. Um, or have them play Forza or um, Halo and stuff. Like, where do you start them off? from a first party perspective than a third party you know that's a hard question yeah that's because some people will say what what's the first zelda game i should play if i've never played a zelda mm -hmm. game huh. well, think... that's a good good point ed i i'm already like having nikolai watch me play the uh, ocarina of time but on the n64 i'm like you're gonna get mm -hmm. used to these polygon graphics <laughs> I, I think, think it was, uh, oh go ahead Corey. Oh, I was just gonna say I think it depends on I I don't think like in terms of Zelda if someone's like what Zelda should I start with I don't think you need to start with the first one I don't I think you could skip the NES Zeldas and be perfectly fine I think it de if you want to go to the 2D route I think a link to the past is probably the way you want to go if you're not into the 2D stuff I would say I mean Ocarina uh, is the first 3D Zelda, so I guess you could go there, but like I would say Wind Waker is like a really good place to start. It's I w simple oh, enough, uh, it's relatively short, you know, it, it's it's got some really good dungeon design, uh, there's not a lot of filler, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's a really good Zelda to start with. I would never tell anybody to start with Twilight Princess because the f like as amazing as those dungeons are, there is a lot of filler in that game. Yes. Yeah. The pacing's a little slow. No, it's not. It's great. It's perfect. <laughs> I love Twilight Princess. It's probably my favorite Zelda. That's a really hard decision to make. What is your favorite Zelda? But uh, no, it's not. It's I the, think it's I the best would... decision you've ever made. <laughs> I think I would probably start people off with Link's Awakening, the Switch version. I really? think it's. I think, yeah, because it's it's graphically is very appealing i think it still it mixes that old school nature of the regular legend of zelda while while carrying the super nintendo version of like that series while still being like play one of the greatest zelda games uh people have come to know and still like recommend and talk about yeah. um as zelda fans and stuff so i think it, it brings also, that middle ground it's also oh, weird it's also weird enough to like hey if you don't want like that traditional zelda you know like i feel like it's weird enough to like okay this is this is a different type of zelda you know it's uh mm -hmm. i mean link's awakening is always going to be at the top of my list just because it was the first zelda game i ever played um plus no, the, love... the switch version is amazing but... it is and i love majora's mask but that would not be the first zelda game i would have someone play because it mm -mm. is so no different yeah from all the others i love it I adore Majora's Mask. I think I think you play Ocarina then and then Majora back to back. That's how I feel. Um, you know what? It's kind of I, I think has been underrated, but it would be con you know I think considerable for a first game would be a link between worlds because it's um, a, like a how do I say it? I'm distracted by trying to cook this steak. I know. Um, a spiritual successor to. Um, Link to the Past, and the graphics also are really good. And I think it's really fun. Mm -hmm. All right. You can cook food. So much fun. It just it just depends. If somebody, if somebody wants... Yeah. Do you think Zelda 1 and 2 will ever get remade? I think it's possible. I think... I'm, I'm kind of surprised, unless someone can explain to me the logic why. Why did they remake Link's Awakening? It... If, if they, it was some sort of an, I think it was some sort of anniversary and I feel like I think it was like the anniversary of the what's the anniversary of the Game Boy maybe maybe the Game Boy version I don't know they chose a great one to remake though I wonder if they were testing the waters with it because I could absolutely see them remaking the other games I hope they do actually yeah yeah, yeah. 
What do you guys want to see be remade? Because I kind of, I never played the Oracle games, but I actually would really love to have, uh, get my hands on like Minish Cap. Minish Cap is so much Ooh, fun. Yeah. It's, if you have a Wii U, it's on the Wii U Virtual Console, and it plays really great on the TV. It's so Sad, fun. It's sadly, so... I do not have a Wii U. Aww, That's okay. We fail. still love you. Nope. <laughs> I still no love Wii you. No Wii U, no sale. In case anyone's not aware, Stephanie is also part of another Zelda podcast with me. Yes. We don't promote other podcasts here, so yes, we do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I just messed up that <laughs> I promise I can cook better in real life. It is nope. true, everybody. Super cheap. Oh. That is a small steak. Yeah, who's eating yeah. that? They're like some cat food. What like the pate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold horizontally. I don't want to do that. So, man, I I need to get back to Hyrule Warriors, and I need to get back to Link's Awakening. Those are the games I need to get back to. Oh my gosh, Auditor. Oracle and Minish Cap are both great. Can they remake Triforce Heroes? Like, completely remake it. <laughs> you know what? I think Triforce Heroes or Four Swords could come to Switch. I feel I like th I feel like there's a Four Swords somewhere, right? That that would make sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Speaking of Four Swords, anybody getting that? Anybody getting that blue Switch light? That looks amazing. That will probably sit in my desk forever and never be touched but it looks pretty Daddy, I'm not I don't know. Corey does your wife like to play any Switch games? Mm -mm. No she plays Mario Kart like once a year and that's it Something. I think she would play Switch at the Real Housewives was like a visual novel or mm. like a free <laughs> summer event game oh my gosh Ed speaking of visual novels can can we please start that you that youtube series where we read the descriptions of these terrible <laughs> like anime porn games that are just yes. really awful yeah let us we're gonna do dramatic readings oh i would love to hear that that's hilarious because i i felt like i was looking through the eShop at uh on the sales and there was like three of them at the top of the page i'm like can I play some like real games, please? I just want to see what's on <laughs> sale. Uh, and uh, it was a really, really hilarious one. Ed, I don't remember what it was called, but I was about to grab my Switch to check to tell you what it was called, and we're sitting here playing Switch. <laughs> uh. Can't check it. Um, I could ask Timmy to look up I could, the visual novels. He has the Switch Lite, and I could say, can you look up some Japanese porn visual novels on your Switch? Yeah. <laughs> the the, the shy the shy boyfriend of Celeste that won't even so come shy. in our Discord and hang out with us. <laughs> he's very shy. Like, if you met him in person, he would be I mean, he's super social in person, but... I cannot wait to meet you guys next month. No, he uh, should... He should He should come on here and read those descriptions while we're playing. Wait, I would, <laughs> wait he need, He has a really good thick Cajun accent, like, he can put on, so I would love to hear him read that. Like, oh, yeah. boy type accent. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, tell the comedy. To, tell him to wear a mask. It'll be fine. We'll just hide. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I like a hand motion? Am I like this is a very awkward? <laughs> hand this this motion. feels yeah. very uh. Um, they let children play this game. Hmm. Hmm. This feels very like I should not be doing this in front of any of you. <laughs> I'm milking a cow. I'm milking a cow. Hmm. Hey, I'm Boo. Why can't Boo just float up to the top? Exactly. That. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I still? Wow. Yeah. Diddy Kong should have been like the first one. Come on, so well, look. I was having performance issues. Okay, this was this is not what I was uh, planning okay, on doing I see during what this you stream. Did there, Corey. I'm sorry, <laughs> my mind went to the cut. I was not planning on making this motion on the stream, so I I had to. Three. <laughs> Uh, better than the N64 
thumbtang joystick action. Oh. Yes, that fire. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this just feels. We're farmers. We're farmers. We're dairy farmers. Isn't the like one of the, remember when the Switch first came out? They also came out with a Switch One Two Three. Yeah. This yeah. Little, I think there's one where you're literally doing something like this, and you're milking a milking. cow. It's literally yeah. milking a cow. My nephews are obsessed with it. Wari they, doesn't WarioWare have some really awkward animations on it? Yeah. Winner. <laughs> um, Sapphire said, "Real Housewives of Yoshi's Island." Oh God. <laughs> oh, Birdo just comes out real sassy. Yeah. She's just okay, chucking. Easy. She's just chucking eggs at, at Daisy or something, and be like, "Oh my gosh, this Daisy's is... market." Uh, comedy gold, guys. We should write this. We have an author on the team. We can uh, write we this. We can write this. <laughs> One of whose special dice block is? I would love to know. Who is Boo? Who's Boo? That's you, Celeste. Oh. I'm Boo. Booyah. <sighs> I'm getting a lot of ones. Is it just because I'm number one? Is that what it's supposed to be? Maybe. How did the underground burrowing character win the climbing mini game? Those myths, <laughs> I guess. Mm. This game is full of con uh, contradictions. Big hands. Big it's a Mario Party <laughs> gay. <laughs> uh, Mario Party. It's so funny. The, uh, the, if you look at the background with the circle, triangle, and a square, you kind of see they don't have an X, so they don't, oh. uh, <laughs> so they yeah. don't, uh, mess Wait around see. with PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this. Nobody ever wants to play Mario Party with me. I got this game specifically to play with my nephews because I thought they'd be all into it. We played one time and they hated it. And all they, they the their favorite game of mine is One Two Switch. That's like the only game they play when they come oh. over here. Is it fun? Is that a fun game? Like, no. Like a... No. It's, yeah. it's terrible. No. It should have been packed in. Yeah, it definitely is one of those. It's like here's a bunch of fun games y'all can play, but it's. Eh. The uh, real life acting is hilarious, though. That is fun to watch. How old are your? How old are they? Uh, five and eight. Yes. Whoa. Uh, my eight-year-old nephew just discovered Splatoon, though, and he loves it. He's obsessed with it. Ah, uh, Splatoon is so good. Yeah. Master need to go buy two. Mm. Oh, this, this is this is great with the online mode because I I delayed getting this Mario Party for the longest time because. Especially with the pandemic, I'm like, I can't get anyone to play this with me. I know. I thought, also, I got it because I thought, like, my wife likes Mario Kart. Uh, and this is, like, I would say this is along the same lines as, like, a casual Mario Kart player would play this, you know? Mm -hmm. And she didn't really go for it either. So I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to play Mar Mario Party by myself. That's, that's sad. You're not alone. Auditor said... That he bought this game and literally played it only once. <laughs> yeah, I played it. Well, a... the EXP cast needs to stream it. Yeah. Mm hmm. We should have a boss rush versus EXP, see what happens. <laughs> you can have would... only up to four players, right? Yeah, but we can do yeah. Mario Kart. You can have more than four in Mario Kart, right? Oh, yeah. Or Smash. Oh, yeah. Playing. Ooh, an eight about... player online smash boss rush versus uh, that would be insane. first part. Yeah. Oh um, no. Ghost playing <laughs> would like to know if we're excited about the new Mario Golf game. I yes. really am excited. I yes. love Mario okay. Golf. 64. Okay. Yes. So this is this is my oh, dang it. So I'm not big <laughs> into Mario Golf, but I will buy it. It's one of those things. Um, <laughs> Mario so Golf cool. is the best. It's the best. Ooh, excuse me. It looks really fun. Trust me. Yeah. I, I would play Mario. that over tennis. Yeah. Mario it's Tennis is really thing. disappointing. I, uh... I tried really hard with Mario Tennis, and it was really disappointing. I thought it was going to be fun, because, like, in, uh... The... Uh, N64 and GameCube ones uh -oh. were really fun. Nah... 
Oh, you got you got chomped. That looks like it really hurt, though. By the way. Yeah. Oh, how sad. He's so He's sad. So sad. <laughs> All um, right. Does anyone have a who's Diddy Kong? Me. Okay. So that's me, Celeste Gay. Yeah. Mm. Dream Team. Maths. Math of glory. Math glory. Oh, we gotta do hmm. math. Oh, jeez. I love math. Okay. To defeat your rivals with superior numbers. Possible slot results. Okay. Aha. Look at us. Oh, so it's really like by chance, right? Then? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Alright. Um, does anyone have their like go to Smash character? Samus. Zero Samus, Samus for me. Eight. Zero Zelda. Eight. Oh, it used to be Link for me, like for a long time. And then, I don't know, he, he got slow in this game. And then I went to, uh, oh, well, right, sorry. I'm going to play King DDD because he's <laughs> hilarious. And I should just, I'm just a fat penguin with a giant hammer. So that's fun. <laughs> nice. You're right, auditor. This is not math. And you would know because you are an auditor. <laughs> Ironically, though, I actually got pretty good with King DDD for a while. Wait for you, Corey. Corey! Oh, sorry. I knew that. Um, I like sticking with my main man, Pikachu. I, I kick some serious tail with him, and, and uh, but I do uh, go with Lucina sometimes. I see what you did there with kicking some serious tail. Oh, yeah. Punny. Meta Knight forever says that. Go to that. Bless. Oh, I'm reading the chat. I know, I'm trying to read the chat, too. I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, Sniffla. Meta Knight is the only one I can play with. You're welcome, oh, yeah. Ed. I, we waited, and I yes. got all... Got <laughs> 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 Yeah, we did. Winners. It's not right. real math. Um, Samus is my main man. I use my uh, backup, yeah. my minor. Wait, you can play as Ryu from Street Fighter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. one of the DLC characters, I think. That is cool. Yeah, yeah it's he... Ken, Ken and Ryu are both in it. Oh, yeah. yeah, when he broke <laughs> the eShop on the Wii U version, mm -hmm. uh, that Sunday that they showed that Smash thing, the eShop was down like half of the whole day. I'm not surprised. Auditor, uh, Auditor said, I love getting under people and using Lightning Bolt talking about Pikachu, but out of context. That, <laughs> I don't know, just made me laugh. <laughs> so, sounds like a power move. Love getting under people and using Lightning Bolt. I used to play, uh, Ghost Plane says, I used to play Sonic, but I now play Joker. Ah, uh, nice. Uh. There's no uh, strategy with this game for me. I just hope for the best and have fun. Yeah, the, there's no strategy. It's gonna it's gonna f you over at some point. Exactly. Usually, right. the person that's winning in the beginning will be dead last. Yeah. In the end. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, auditor. That was just so funny. It just made me giggle. <laughs> I'm delirious, and I'm recording another podcast after this one. Ooh. I, it's the um, the guys who play Zelda. They're doing a Donkey Kong podcast, and they're in Mountain Time, so they're an hour behind me. So I'm recording at 10:30 at night, which is past my bedtime. But oh, yeah, it's like past about... your bedtime now. It's 10:15 here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about Donkey Kong. I want to talk about Dixie Kong. So, mm. and then I am doing a 1v1 tomorrow. Oh, nice! Who's your 1v1 Jamie? with tomorrow? Janie Laney. Oh, the, the Facebook streamer. streamer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's very sweet. She's a family-friendly um, Facebook gaming streamer. And she's on YouTube as well. And she's very big into Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm not even cool enough to steal a star from someone. Ah. Hmm. Who has the most coins? Hmm. I thought you would steal from mm. me, but I I thought about it, but Celeste, no, you know what? No, <laughs> you you have a star and the second most coins stealing from you. 
Whoa! Get it away! Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a Sniff Love says, Ryu and Ken are fun to play with my kids. I feel like I am... Like, when I was your age, I used to play with these guys for a quarter of a minute. <laughs> mm. I, I've actually been learning, um, the one guy from Fair the Furry, uh, on it. Co Cody? No. No. Terry um, Bogard. Yeah. Who? What? Who? Terry Bogart. <laughs> from Fair the Furry. Am I... I'm Ooh. thinking of Final Fight. Oh. Yeah, that would have been Cody and Guy and Hagger. They're ah, not. Ah, Mayor Hacker, who is ripped. Yeah, he is daddy. So, oh wow. my gosh. Wow. He is. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, um. <laughs> I mean, he is a dad. You 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 he rescue is. his his he daughter. Is. In the he is game. a dad. Yes, he is a father. Father's Day is coming up. Oh my gosh! I could see how. Never mind. You could have a very interesting. I don't. Father's I don't. Day article. This. Mm, mm. <laughs> Eddie's top daddy's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Corey feels uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I'm not uncomfortable. I've heard worse things come out of people's mouths, trust me. <laughs> I've heard worse things come out of my own mouth, so. Uh, aww. I'm in last place again. Oh, Diddy. Always in last place. Oh. <laughs> Ghost Plane 64. Are you excited for. Game Builder Garage. Heck yeah. Yeah, I am really excited for that. I've been thinking of levels in my mind uh, and then seeing if I could make a Mega Man kind of uh, platformer. I'm going to make a Boss Rush RPG. So for someone like <laughs> me who has not even watched the trailer yet, please tell me more about this Game Builder Garage. It's a... It's like a simplified programming tool from the minds of Nintendo, and you can learn how to make all kinds of different types of games with basic programming. Uh, it looks like it might have been a Labo uh, thing at one point. Um, oh man, I was too late. Um... <laughs> It, it's. I'm very excited. It seems super cool, but I wonder if if it's going to be pretty limited. Like I don't know the scope of how you can customize your own game versus like Super Mario Maker. Yeah. It. I don't know. Some of the stuff they released after that initial trailer looked like you could. It can get. It can be as simple as you want or as extensive as your memory card space can handle. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty extensive. Okay. You know, it because I brought that toys, like Fisher Price was doing stuff like this. Um, but it looks like Nintendo who got this idea, it, it looks like they are the ones to do it just right. You know. Um huh. definitely with Mario Maker and you know, the even with Labo and how you was able to do different things with that. It, it just feels like Nintendo kinda of somewhat got it. It looks it looks somewhere in between like Mario Maker and something like Little Big Planet is what it looks like. Uh, I don't know it. I I I'm really interested to see what people can do. Not like initially, but like when it like six months after it comes out or a year, mm -hmm. and see what kind of game because that's really gonna be be telling. Oh, I died. Yeah. I mean, it's like Dreams. Like, it's been out for, what, a year maybe now? And, like, things have, are still coming out that are pretty impressive. You know, I know that community is pretty small, but mm -hmm. you can't deny that that tool set is impressive. And right. they actually, Sony actually is publishing a game that was made in Dreams now, an indie game. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, excuse me, which what? Uh, I forget what it's called, but I know that they're publishing it. Right back. Uh, so that's pretty interesting.
turn five of ten. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm I'm excited. I'm glad it's only thirty dollars too. I think thirty dollars is a nice price point. Oh yeah. It sets an expectation, you know, like if it doesn't turn out to be what people want it to be, it's it's thirty dollars, not sixty. Uh, but if it turns out to it might be like a secret gateway into programming for people, right? Like and that's mm -hmm. kinda what I hope it is. You know, I hope it's not just like, oh, here's your buttons, like here's what you know, like they showed like this touch screen where, oh, here's your A button and you want your A button to jump, right? Like I hope it's not just simply that, right? I hope there's some kind of deeper thing for it. And I know there's a there's going to be a ton of tutorial videos and stuff, and you can create your own art in it and stuff, which is super cool. Um, so I don't know. I think it could be cool. Yeah, cool. I think it's yeah. Nintendo has a history of doing things like this um you know we have rob the robot um with guy remark you was able to make levels um it's side by you was able to make your own tracks um in that game and it just feels like nintendo when they want people to get the idea of being creative to allow them in the future hey you may be able to work for nintendo yes. or other companies and stuff it's good that Nintendo does it, and I, I'm always impressed that they're trying to find new ways to make people like creative and have fun and everything. Mm -hmm. That is you know? cool. Yeah. Like you, like you could, you could, like even Mario Paint, the way that you was able to use different art styles or uh, different things to create, but then you, you still hear people who modify Mario Paint playing modern hits of songs uh, with the Mario Paint Music Maker section you know or hearing like the star wars theme song and mario paint in the music mm -hmm. maker like that's impressive that people could do stuff like that yeah yeah Love says the interface kind of looks like what they use to teach kids programming in elementary school which my son is really stoked about that's awesome yeah that's amazing what i mean i'm sure our parents and grandparents said the same thing whenever we were in school and had all this technology they didn't have so life just repeats it's a cycle yeah right because <laughs> when we were in high school we were um what learning with mavis beacon or something like how to yeah. type fast and not look at your board we had mario teach us typing <laughs> we yeah we had uh mavis uh mavis bacon but uh yeah i man i remember i took when I took uh, a Photoshop class in high school, I thought that was like the most amazing thing that anybody's ever offered. And then now it's like, you know, instead of graphic design as a major, it's like one class now. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> neat. <laughs> Sapphire says, remember the Game Boy game adapter for Super Nintendo where you could design your own border for the TV display? Like a cute yep. game yep. setup. Me, Corey talked about it on Power Block back in the day. That mm -hmm. and the GameCube uh, adapter. Yeah. Uh, for Game Boy Vet. Yeah, I actually just sold my game, uh, the Game Boy player for my GameCube. Okay. I, I sold. Well, I sold it to get my my Xbox. Um, ah. I mean, the di like. I mean, it was. I'm never gonna use it. You know, like I, I'd rather somebody have it that's gonna use it. As much as I love having, you know, the Nintendo stuff and maybe one day display it in a house that, you know, is big enough for me to display something. Like, I just, I don't know. I mean, I got, I got $140 out of it, so, I mean, it's not like... Wow. Uh, yeah, if you have the disc to, to that, it's worth, a, worth some money. And I undersold it just to get rid of it, so... Where am I supposed to put this package? On, on this that conveyor belt, belt maybe? Yeah. Which conveyor You're belt is You're on one ours? side. Yeah. I'm, am oh, I blue? Question. I think you're red. Oh, I'm red. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I've never played this game Oh, before. okay. Drone. So, I think... So... Oh, you so have a drone. That's... Yeah. Well, so, I'm easy. getting... Yeah, so I'm getting the packages and you uh, pick them up. Oh man. Well, we I bought myself. 
Yeah, so we we three have to run up manually and grab them while um, Celeste gets to use the drone. Hmm. That seems unfair. She has something that can oh, fly. Oh, we gotta put we it. Gotta okay, walk. So I'm the blue one. So I, I am. It. I'm a boo. Couldn't boo just go and grab? <laughs> Who's him? exactly? Boo doesn't need a drone. Ed, ready up. Come on, Ed. Ooh. Yeah, Did Ed. Did you hear oh, how Target we'll fight is you. pulling Pokemon cards from their stores because people are getting hurt? Mm -hmm. those yeah, yeah. There was a fight I... in in uh, Milwaukee or in Wisconsin outside. Yeah. Four people got a yeah. Four people got arrested. Because uh, a man, um, he had a right to carry, uh, to conceal, uh, carry and stuff. So it could have got bloody o over that. Yeah. Wait, was it? But it, was it the parent that freaked out and had this fight, or was it the kid? It was. It was four guys. It was no kids. Kids are oh. not buying it. Parents are buying it so they can sell it online. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, what's wrong with people? Just invest <laughs> like everybody else. My gosh, goodness. I, yeah, yeah, it's people something were... about the pandemic. In California, people were robbing people at gunpoint, like as Those they were Pokemon walking, cards? as they were walking mm -hmm. out of Target. Not just Pokemon cards, like sports cards and stuff too. Yeah, so they come in, they come in my job trying to ask for them. Yeah, uh, and everything. We had to like lock them up. How do you um, know someone? Like you're watching the people who are buying them because they're just gonna go up to a random person and say they they, Pokemon? they just come up and they ask they ask to be like, do you have any Pokemon cards and stuff like that? That's why like McDonald's was just like kind of worried about doing their Pokemon stuff because they weren't buying Happy Meals for kids. They were buying the Happy Meal just to get the Pokemon cards and they didn't care. They, yeah, they, they won't even. Them. If you don't have a kid with you, they won't even let you buy a Happy Meal now. Yeah. Really? What if that's the size that you can eat and you can't eat a full? Well, is it is it me or something's glitching on the screen? Yeah, it's lagging really bad. Come on, online mode. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Don't fail me now. You know, um, you always see in those like zombie movies and games where you know when it's the apocalypse and zombies take over the world, it's actually the people that are scarier. Dude, we're not even even in a zombie apocalypse. We're in a viral pandemic, and people are basically kind of acting similar. It's kind of scary. Well. I think Charms are so for like four thousand or no. four hundred some thousand dollars. Something yeah, like that. if a, a grade nine char uh, char uh, char foil first edition Charizard sold for like three hundred sixty thousand dollars. Dude, I need to dig out my Pokemon cards then. I, I don't know. know where it is. I have them sitting in my basement, and I have a first edition foil Blastoise that's worth like if I get it graded, and it's in mint condition too. Nice. I need to get and it graded though. And I don't know why people want these cards because they're not playing the game. They're just yeah. something to have. Yeah, but I mean, it's a collector's mentality, you know what I mean? Like, and those are, at this point, they're 25 years old, you know? Sorry, Stephanie. You have to. Oh, no. No, you have one. I'm sorry. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa, that was brutal. That Cold, was Celeste. Rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's not sorry. <laughs> I am. She's not. <laughs> Just look at that sad mole face. Face. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I I doubt it's worth anything. But remember when the first Pokemon movie came out and they were giving out these? They all called it limited edition, like new. Yeah, card. those those are actually worth money too. Oh, for real? Because I'm pretty sure I have one. Again, as long as I didn't lose it. Yeah. It's that card because they only gave it out for the movie. You know what stuff I actually I don't know if I have that too, and I, I know it's probably not worth anything, and it didn't get clearly as popular as the cards. But did anyone remember those coin? Like they look like coins. Pogs. With Pokemon, you spin them. Not pogs. Oh. No, I had pogs too. But you spin them, and then I don't know. They had points, attack points, but. Hey, Blake. <laughs> to that but I wonder if pogs are worth money and if I still have my pogs <laughs> Sapphire and Auditor y'all are making me laugh because I thought Louisiana was the only state with corrupt politicians but apparently not because hmm. hmm. they were <laughs> Sapphire said Illinois has big gangsters you can ask our governors they've met them all during their prison terms <laughs> oh wow Al Capone Al Capone anyone Mm-hmm. 
We have the mafia down here. We have a little Louisiana Let's see, mafia. So I know you did a whole a whole interview on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is really good. I enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. Oh, Dexter's the best. Dexter Babin. He was like excited to talk about me. I've known him since high school, and he has all ever since he's, he can talk forever about the mafia. Spots getting crowded. If you guys ever come down here, I can take you to Mosca's, which is supposedly where you can go to eat. Yeah. Sit yeah. with your back to the wall, I guess. I don't know. Who has <laughs> who has the most coins? Oh, I do. Oh, I thought you were gonna say I'm... which state has the most mafia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think there's an Ohio mafia, although there could be an Amish mafia somewhere. Maybe they're that there. good, Corey, and nobody knows who they are. Yeah, there's an Amish mafia somewhere though. Are they allowed to use guns? I, I don't know. Is that is that allowed? I don't, I'm not sure. As long as it's not theirs, I think maybe. Oh, they have to steal it? <laughs> have to steal the I don't know. Their rules are weird. My parents' neighbors were Amish for a while. Uh, yeah, it's uh. Wait, where do I need to go to to? We're gonna go this way. You gotta go. Oh. Don't tell me what to do, Ed. Oh no. Oh, one or more coins? Just one? That's how. Oh. Uh, I only want to oh. hand over one. I don't want to waste my coins. Am I close to the star? I'm close, right? That looks close. I think so, yeah. Hmm. I don't like this lag. I don't either. Yeah. It looks like yeah. Bowser is chasing Dinkle to try to eat him or something. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> coffee after this. Mm. Yeah, I remember when back in the day, 10:30 was like nothing. What I know. Happened? Now it's like yeah. if I'm if I'm up till 10:30, I've like stayed up way too late. We had to <laughs> fully employed. Uh, although I did stay up till one o'clock three times this week. So. Oh, Why? Uh, doing stuff for Boss Rush. And you, you gotta ask for help, my friend. We'll help. Mm. Oh. Is it not letting me exit out of this? Come on, I don't want to no, buy anything. You have to buy something. Oh, Anyone yeah. else get up at five a.m. for work? Back when I went to go go into the office, yeah, I'd have I'd have to wake up at five. Um, I'll probably have to start doing that in the fall when we return to the office. I wake up at 4.45 daily. Ooh, Ooh, I go to sleep at 4.45, baby. Yeah. It's the not reason, fun. I technically could get up at 6, but I get up at 5 so I can do at least 30 minutes of exercise. Nice. That's smart. Well, if it, by the time I get home, I guarantee I'm not going to feel like exercising. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Uh... Soy wanted to record something around 8 p.m. this week, and I thought he was crazy mad. Okay, I can understand on a Friday or Saturday wanting to do that auditor, but a oh, school slash work night? Huh. That's a bad thing too much. What are we doing? We're Throw throwing... the balls into the open mouth. This is it's like, like a... ball. It's oh. like a hungry, hungry hippos. Oh, so I actually mm. like have to. Okay, while pressing L or R, swing. God. It's like the pole climb, but less awkward. Yeah. It's more horizontal than vertical. Well, oh, we're doing the real thing now. <laughs> On the wrist. It's like if you're pole climbing, Just standing look at, up. Look at the wrist. Look at the wrist. <laughs> Oh, I'm pressing the Wait, who's throwing super fast? Damn. Okay, if you guys 
had, you know, stupid money, like money to blow on whatever you want without any consequences, what is some frivolous thing you would buy? A giant a TV. It's literally giant. the only thing I want in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> how giant are we talking? Like that 77-inch LG OLED or the 80-inch Samsung OLED. <laughs> That's like the only thing I've. Ball. That's like the only thing I've ever wanted in my entire life is like the a really really nice TV. And yes, I only want it to play my video games on. But yeah, uh, I don't like. I don't want a nice car. Like I would buy a house and stuff, but I wouldn't spend it like on a. Like I would buy a new car, but it wouldn't be like a Lamborghini or anything. Mostly because I couldn't fit in it because I'm too tall. But uh, are they really that tiny? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought. Okay, I remember hearing growing up that we can't have Lamborghinis here because of the size of our roads. Is this true? No, uh, there's Lamborghinis around here. Auditor would have his own monkey sanctuary. Ooh. Ooh, environmentalist, huh? Mm. Uh, How about watch you, out. They, they go for the eyes. Monkeys go for the eyes. No no fear. I'm not trying to instill fear in you or anything, but they go for the eyes. I would do a ski ball. Just that, that the game made me think of how much I love ski ball, and I would love that in my house. <laughs> you could just you put a ski ball court in your basement or whatever. Yeah, and I thought, uh, we can't have basements down here. Oh, yeah, because you live in the swamp. Your house is basically. You, you might as well just live on a boat in the swamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, so I'm you're. Go ahead, Ed. Oh, I would buy a house with. Uh, oh, it's my turn. With um, uh, solar panels and everything, mm. so I could cut in. Uh, probably, you know, and, and it'd probably be like a, a big house, not so much a mansion, but like a big house, so I could have a room for, like, the podcast and the entertainment, room for my snacks and books, uh, room to be like for music like a studio and then like a room just to like sleep in in the kitchen of course whoa every star now costs five coins neat Stephanie what about um, you? you had stupid I things. would have a, a game room of sorts so I would have you know like a you know I was thinking ski ball okay well I gotta focus who has the most coins <laughs> me don't Sorry, do it you can take don't them do it. I took your star don't <laughs> do it it's okay, Stephanie. It's I fine. Your star. I just won't look. It's yeah. Fine. Star. Ha. I don't mean be Robin Hood. <laughs> like I would have a bunch of pinball machines and old arcade games, like a, just a fun game room. And then also, I used to drive trucks. I had a Toyota Tacoma and then I had a Dodge Ram, but um, I got into a car accident recently, and I just didn't have enough money to put back into a truck because trucks are getting crazy expensive. But I miss my truck, so I'd probably get a nice truck too. No, don't hurt me again. <laughs> You're just Sapphire gonna lose says, all the coins you stole from Celeste. Sapphire oh. says Mystic would get a house with a pool. I would have a dedicated tabletop RPG room. <laughs> nice. Awesome. nice. I don't know if we mentioned it in the stream yet, but um, Sapphire and Mystic have four together, which is a great podcast about the lore of various video game series, including The Sims, Mortal Kombat, Final Fantasy, Zelda, Paper Mario. In the, in the first episodes, I think, was um, Mist. I think uh, so. Yeah, Where did she, they man. just did an episode on Final Fantasy X, which was like... Where did you me? <laughs> It's, it says, why am I not, why am I not shaving ice? Am I terrible at this? What's happening? Yes. Oh my, oh, that's a, nothing, never mind. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> why Jeez, you guys are making like a DNA helix. What's going on here? I don't understand why I'm not, why am I not shaving the ice? Oh, Those poor to... penguins with the ice sledding on yeah. their heads. Yeah. <laughs> we threw their babies off of the edge of the ice cliffs in Mario 64, and then we enslaved the parents to make ice shavings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it kind of looks like hair a little bit, right? Oh, my goodness. Hey, Sapphire, you know what I think would be cool? 
I don't know what we're doing. I'm just trying to go. Are we adding syrup on top? So it's. I ran out of ice. I I don't have any more ice. I ran out. It's like a Oh, I think we won. So they won. You gotta make the tallest. It's like a great. Building the set for Frozen Three. No big deal. Oh my gosh, my kid finally discovered Olaf. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That. Yeah. It's fine. She doesn't know the songs okay. or anything, but she did discover okay, Olaf. It's because, nice. like, she's discovered uh, Disney World parades on YouTube. Mm. And we watch one every night before we go to bed. That's like our routine. So now it's her favorite thing. And she's, all she wants to do is watch the one with Olaf in it, which is every single one in the last 10 years. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's great. <sighs> I actually didn't mind Frozen 2, though. Frozen 2 was okay. still think Tangled is better. Moana is better. Yeah. Oh. He thinks Diddy Kong's gonna win. Well, well, he's obviously doesn't know my uh, <laughs> my track record with Mario Party. <laughs> Did she discover a whole new world? <laughs> uh, she loves Little Mermaid. Oh. So. No, that's Aladdin, uh, sir. I know, but I'm saying you reminded me that she loves Little Mermaid. I think we didn't Does beat she do the my... hair? The hair yes. Stuff. She no, but she <laughs> instead of their names, like she knows their names, but she'll call them uh, Krabby, Murmur, and Fishy. And I'm <laughs> I like, love it. And then I'm like, oh what? Oh my god, it's like the Dollar General version. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm like, well, what are their names? She's like, Krabby is Bastion, but I like Krabby, <laughs> and I'm like. I just love Murmur. I think that's going to be someone's Murmur. nickname. Yeah. Murmur. That's great, but yeah, I like Beauty and the Beast too, Ed. Yeah. Good one. Speaking of, speaking of nicknames, uh, my son, his name is his name is Miles, and she call, like she can't say his name correctly. She calls him Mouse, like she calls him Mouse. So now everybody just calls him Mouse because <laughs> she can't say it right. <laughs> Did you do that? Did you want that to happen because of Mickey Mouse? No. That's cute. Uh, yes, yes, Sapphire, you can t save a ton of money and take your son to Disney World via YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doctors hate this hack. <laughs> yeah. Mickey Mouse hates this hack. YouTube is free. Ugh. <laughs> mm. uh. Oh no. Ed got to the star again? Get out of here. Yeah. <sighs> what? You can. What? No. Alright, guys. No. If all hands on deck this is to not fight cool. Ed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can buy more than one star at a time? Yeah. I oh. think. You're the worst. Well, I lost. Here I am, just at the bottom, you know, where a mole should be, I guess. Ooh. Inflation! Yeah. Wait, where am I at? I thought I was in front of the thing. Oh, there I am. Yeah, you're one spot away. I see whoever made the last stars that I got made it only five cents, so five points. one percent of Mario Party player. <laughs> I don't want this thing by luck. Wait, I don't want that. I just want to... Ed is the 1% of Mario player. <sighs> that, um, Kamek machine reminds me of those fortune teller machines. Uh... Zoltair, whatever. Mm-hmm, yep. I always found that creepy. <laughs> Who's gonna pass? I like how one of the options to buy stars is pass. No, I'm good. Don't nah, I don't them. need them. I'm good. I'll give it to the peasants. Right. The peasants Why am I looking pass. sad for this <laughs> thing? You are sad. Oh, snap. 
Adam catching up. Chain Chomp knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> hey, whoever get the next one. Great. Ooh, item time. Oh no. Oh, Angry it's in mushrooms. My box. Okay. I thought I got about to get poison. Do y'all ever get hungry at this time when it's almost time to go to bed? Every night yeah. when I go to lay down, I'm like, man, I need to. I'm, I'm hungry. But then I don't eat, which is fine. Do you eat breakfast? I do. Uh, usually it's something microwavable and not healthy for you. I just get in my car and go to like to Checkers or Burger King. <sighs> Checkers has breakfast. Yeah. No. Oh, oh yeah. But like Ours they does. Like, oh, you mean this at time. night? At night, yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally like, snacking right now. What are you eating, Sapphire? I want some. Yeah, I don't even care what it is. I want some seasoned fries now. Oh, I know, mm. dude. I want some nacho fries from Taco Bell. Ooh, yes. Speak the word. I don't. I don't need the cheese, but their their fries are the best fries you can buy. Telling you. <laughs> from a from a, a Mexican a fast food Mexican restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Who's okay? Me, is mm, fast and loose with that Mexican restaurant term from Taco Bell? Uh, it's a fast food Mex. <laughs> America's elite Mexican restaurant, Taco Bell. <laughs> I hope there's a toilet nearby. That's all I can say. Oh uh, <laughs> man. Oh, here's our Dang chance it. to green up on a. Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> The, you you bought all the, okay multi grain Cheerios out of the cereal bag like a savage. Oh, you are my yes! girl, Sapphire. I used to do that, oh. but with Captain Crunch, oops, all berries. We just eat the, the berries out of the box. I was eating those multi grain Cheerios earlier today. They're so all right, guys, team. Yes. We all just take a side, right? We have to hit yeah. the glow box. Whoa, whoa. I think we can do that. Uh, multi grain cheer. Okay, apple cinnamon cheerios, y'all. Oh, uh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, I like apple jacks. Yeah, mm, I was about to say yeah. apple jacks, too. Then they added the Dang green it, ones in there. Cereal. Oh, yeah. Someone's going to get the ball. I get a little too fierce. I get a little too carried away, and I start punching it like five times. <laughs> Someone needs to let loose. Some of their anger. Ah, actually, there's a pinata at the kid's birthday. I'm like, I want to swing at that, swing at that. Did you? I miss <gasps> oh my gosh, no. Stephanie, that's a great idea. If you're having a bad day, just buy a pinata and fill it. Yeah, exactly. Candy. And then you get sugar exactly oh. as a reward. Oh, Save we're it gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. What's our favorite? Yeah. Take oh, that, Ed. Honey bunches of oats. Yeah. That's where it's at with almonds. Daddy. Uh, I just like get down here honey bunch of oats without the almonds. Not the al you don't like almonds? Nah. Why is this not working? Because Celeste hey, didn't do it with us. <laughs> what am I doing? What's everyone's favorite candy bar? Or oh, candy? Don't do uh, it. Okay, so candy is Twizzlers. Um, the pull and peel. Candy bar is now my favorite. The Twix cookie and cream. Mm, yeah, oh. the cookie and cream Twixes are are pretty um, amazing. Those are my I, favorite too, by the way. I think I'm the one that turned it onto those. No, I it, turned, it has oh, to be a no. candy bar. Okay, I would take either a Heath or a Score bar because I love chocolate, chocolate and toffee. Mm. Mm. The Kit Kat uh, mint chocolate ones are good too. They are, they are. Mm. So are the key lime pie ones. I'm we a, don't. Ooh, I have some. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I'm a big Mike and Ike fan too. <gasps> yeah, mm. it's, uh, the hot tamales are good. Hot now, tamales Reese's. Are good. Reese's. That's considered more of a candy, not like a candy bar, right? Because mm -hmm. it's not a bar. Well, they you have know, the, diff the, the take five, or I mean, not take five, uh, fast break or whatever. They and they also have like the wafer kind of Reese's pieces, just like a nutty buddy. Oh yeah. 
I um, like life, the lifesavers. No, go ahead, lifesavers. Oh, the lifesaver gums. I like the very. Oh yeah. Gummy lifesavers. Yeah, yeah those are like good. I don't know if um, I ever had those. Excuse me. Um, take five is listed. Matcha Kit Kats are listed. Milky Way, chocolate, dark chocolate <gasps> Kit Kat, right. peanut butter M Ms. Come through, chat. Come through. Yeah. Has um has anyone had Pocky? Yes. Oh, I love mm-hmm. Pocky and and the tons of flavors they come in. I don't think it's, I know what that uh, is. I could. It's like just little bread, really thin bread sticks with like a chocolate coating or any other kind of coating that you want. It's crunchy and yummy and you could polish off the entire box. There's a cookies and cream one that's my favorite. Mm. Yeah, but Pocky, yeah. I just brought some like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, when I went to go get some uh, miso ramen on um, my hat. Uh... Okay, so Corey, you, I don't know if this is in everybody's grocery stores, but... They would have these little baskets that would have the little breadsticks with cheese, that, like the artificial mm. cheese. You could dip them into the cheese. Like, imagine mm. that, but with like a, a creamy coating. Mm. 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 <laughs> Stuffed breadsticks are good. Mm. Stuffed breadsticks. What is that warp pipe? Gold pipe, I choose you. What is this? Oh no! Oh, what? No. That's that's not. That's. Hmm. I'm getting See? my revenge. See, this is this revenge is where ball. this is where Mario Party starts screwing over the guys that suck at the game. Hmm. Oh, dang it. Hmm. Well, at least Ed's losing now, so that's good. Thanks everybody for sticking around as we fail miserably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we have to start it over. Yeah. The. The game thought we were so bad it made us start over. <laughs> I think we're nope. we going our last one. I don't know, are we? I, I don't know. Last I gotta go get ready for the Donkey Kong stream a little bit. Um, That's gonna be cool. It's so Donkey. funny that Pocky is mainstream now. I remember when you had to go to Japanese groceries specifically to get them. Yeah, they used to be available yeah. only at places like FYE. Yeah, and Suncoast. FYE and our mall closed, you guys. Did it close in your mall? Yeah, I think they all closed. F- FYEs were long gone, yeah. Oh, uh, I think I still have my in uh, Gurney. I took flats. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I haven't been anywhere other than work in my house in like a year and a half, so I can't tell you where. You, were <laughs> you have no idea what the outside world is like. Yeah. My friends all have mute buttons and end call buttons, so... Popcorn, not boulders. Okay, so Timmy came home with these popcorn chips that are kettle corn chips. Like, they look like potato chips, but they're made of popcorn. Mm. And they were delicious. That sounds... It's a dangerous snack because you can't stop. Mm. Every time we go to Aldi, we get the baked Cheez-Its. And then they have the white... (gasps) They have the white cheddar ones, too. Talk about dangerous snacks. Have mm-hmm. you tried the the um the Cheez Its with like the ridges on them, the wavy ones? Uh uh. Uh-uh. Oh, you like the uh, the snap addictive. ones. Yeah. Oh. Snap ones are good. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty good. I don't know. I'm yes. I'm an uh, I'm an original Cheez It guy, and none of these cheese mm-hmm. nips, right? Like Cheez Its. Nobody yeah. wants cheese nips. I don't care what Here's anybody hot, says. Hot take. Whales are better than goldfish. Uh, hot Ooh. takes. All these penguins are better than both. Wow. For cheese, it's I just I, I like it plain, but there's also that extra cheesy. Like it's not the white cheddar, but it's extra cheesy. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, once weird. again. Uh, I, I just, definitely thought I was. No. So I just brought some. Um, S'mores goldfish. It was pretty good. Oh yeah. S'mores goldfish. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Half of them, I... half the fish are chocolate, half of them are graham cracker, and then they come with little mini marshmallows. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, that's perfect. This exists. Yeah. 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 You can eat a whole family-sized bag in one sitting, Celeste. Let me tell you, I've done it. Uh, I believe it. I, I 
Yes. Um, Jack would tell you all about it. <laughs> Sapphire says Mitsuwa and Arlington Heights is where we had to go. Ed may know where that is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mitsuwa. Okay, so that's where I went to go get my miso soup. And inside of it, they have a Japanese, uh, they have a Japanese store. Um, and they all play Japanese music for vacation things. That's where you get some good sake at. Um, mm. some bread, so the bread stuff that you see at anime, like the bread shops they have. Um, Miss mm-hmm. is just all some. Um, and down the street, they got another Japanese place that sells some of the best sushi. Like, it's freshly made. That's nice. Delicious. Yeah. A ghost plane, do you eat beef jerky? I love beef jerky. We yeah, love beef. I do. I love beef jerky. Wheat thins are crack for auditor. Yeah, wheat thins are for ranch wheat thins. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm a. Are you a cheesecake I, person, corn? No, I'm just like any type of like wheat thin or triscuit with like some sort of outside flavor, like sour cream and onion or ranch mm-hmm. or something. It's uh, they're gone in like five seconds. Uh, oh, I it, thought you were about to say they taste terrible, and I'm too healthy for that. Um, no, I'm not too healthy. Hmm. Speaking of unhealthy, I was really excited that they bought us pizza at work today. Maybe what kind of pizza? Nice. Just Domino's, but that's delicious. Still, free pizza is pizza. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna yeah. say no. So. Oh, there, there's a pizza place near where I live that has gumbo pizza. Mm. I know it sounds weird, but trust me. Gumbo? That, I, that sounds really good, actually. We're all so tired. You can hear it in our voice. I know. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want some Pizza Hut. I was thinking about that Detroit pizza that I bought. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Like, try that again if they still have it. But I gotta, I still gotta go to Detroit and you know, with the Beyond guys and uh, Asa, and all of them. Stephanie, uh, I love your setup because it makes me think of like the slumber parties I used to go to with my friends. <laughs> my yeah, gigantic she, bean bag. She, she's just like, I mean, yeah, when this is over, I'm just gonna roll over. It's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this bean bag will suffice. <laughs> oh man. I'm really, I'm really glad we decided to do this tonight. It was kind yeah, of like, thanks for letting me be part of this. Yeah, this is... Yeah. This I, is fun, thank you. I stayed up late just for you guys. <laughs> star version of Pot? Ooh, I got a star. Shiny. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can do this like once or twice a month. Maybe not Mario Party exactly, but you know. Get a couple people from Boss Rush or outside or community or whatever, and we can just all play games for a couple hours and you know hang out, Auditor shoot the shit sass. as they say. Uh, Auditor has a little sass for your pizza party. That is kind of true. Um, how do we how do we show empo- appreciation to employees? Give them a raise? No, I know we'll order them the pizza. I mean that's <laughs> true, but uh-huh. it's it's free pizza, so. And- you never no, know. There may be, there may be some days where you low on funds and you don't have nothing to eat. And final no, it's just that there's a, there's just this joke of employees oh. want you know raises and more vacation days, and it's like, oh, here's a, I don't know, here's a hug, I don't know, here's a coupon for Dairy Queen. Or <laughs> oh man, this is. We're back at it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of. Uh... Movement, shaking and baking. Yeah. I need so. to find out. So after this, for the Donkey Kong podcast, I need to find out if it's live. If you guys, oh, if, you, if y'all wanna, if y'all are still awake. <laughs> When's it starting? Like a half hour from now? Yeah, girl, get some okay. sleep. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, such I'm an old lady inside, deep inside. I'm turning. You're such a lady. <laughs> old lady. Old, oh, I was like, such a lady. 
No, they old lady. Like to me all the time. <laughs> um, Stephanie texts pictures. me pictures of her cat sometimes, and it makes my day. I can send you. Yeah. I can send you our cat. Okay, just this like is in a, a box. Really uncomfortable game. In a box. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> in a box. You worse than this. It'll be like it'll be like Christmas vacation. Oh. Remember when yes. the grandma wraps the cat for a Christmas gift? Oh, oh my god! Yes. In the Jello mold oh, or whatever. I was just <laughs> pumping away and I sprung a leak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, time for the surprise like award stars, right? These are always fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, save the children. Adults only on Mars. Like yes, yes, that is true. That'd be funny if Corey wins everything. I would <laughs> cry. I would cry. Why are we standing on welcome match? Because they're welcoming <laughs> us into the... <laughs> I don't know. That's hilarious, though. Wait, our feet are dirty. We have to wipe our feet. Wait, what did I just win? I didn't even read the text. You got the mini game. Oh, you won yeah. the most mini games. It's from my belly. <laughs> eventful bonus. Who is the most eventful? Event spaces. Daisy, previous game. Oh, Ooh. dang it! <laughs> <laughs> no, no star for you, Ed. <laughs> no star for you. Stephanie's now in the lead. Okay, the Monty Mole belly pat is the cutest thing. Right? I can't stand it. The winner this time is Monty oh, Mole belly. I didn't get I'm, nothing. I lost my belly. <sighs> Oh, oh man, that's bowl. funny. You guys are wrenches at us. Oh man. Oh, now you get a special welcome mat. Yeah. You get the royal welcome mat. You get the red carpet. Red uh, carpet treatment, right? Wow. Well, congratulations, Stephanie. Yeah. Good job. That was such a blast, guys. Minus the snap move, it crashing on it on us once, but. Well, you did it, actually. We didn't want to say anything. We knew that you yeah. did it so that you would win. Yeah. It's a secret to everybody. <laughs> Stephanie's lag switching Mario Party. <laughs> She's sabotaging it. This uh, was a lot of fun. Thank you, Corey, for instigating. Yeah. yeah this was this was fun. I was mm -hmm. I, well. Ed was like, "I'm off Friday." I'm like, "We should do something with everybody. We should try to get people to play a game." And I was just like, "Mario Party." And he was like, yeah. And then I was like, nobody's going to want to play Mario Party with us. But this was fun. <laughs> this was fun. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you, everyone who stayed around and put up with us. For yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to watch the shenanigans again, it's going to be archived on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's also going to be on our website at bossrushgames.com where you can find everybody writing stuff, posting stuff, find our podcast there. Uh yeah thank you guys for watching yeah uh, thanks will... yes amazing chat yeah great Love chat it. tonight great thank y'all so much i hope you'll have a great weekend whatever yeah. it entails yeah. yes yes right, good bye night. everybody bye guys bye, -bye now <laughs>